Well, as you know, we've already in, uh, made an invitation to the President for a visit to the United Kingdom, and obviously that will happen in due course. Uh, that special relationship between the UK and America is as strong as it ever has been. And what I want to be talking to the President about, and will be talking to him about, is a whole range of foreign policy areas where we have shared, face shared challenges and are working together. So whether it's working together in, North, in relation to North Korea to stop them from their illegal activity in relation to uh, ballistic missiles and nuclear weapons, uh, whether it's working together in Syria where, of course, and Iraq, where great strides have been made in relation to uh, dealing with Daesh, or whether it's working together to uh, reduce the uh, destabilizing activities of Iran in the region. Uh, we work with the United States on all of these issues and we'll be continuing to do so. Free trade as well, possibly? Well, free trade is a topic that I have discussed with the President in the past. We're very keen that we'll be able to do that free trade agreement uh, when we leave the European Union with the United States of America. They're keen on that, we're keen on that, and we're already working on how we can shape that. Well, I'm not happy with an event of that type taking place. I was appalled by the reports that I read. What, what worries me is it's not just about that event. It's about what it says about this wider issue in society, about attitudes to women. Uh, we have made progress. Uh, sadly, I think that showed that we still have a lot more progress to make. So I'm going to continue to work, as I have and always have done, to ensure that we can get to a point where women are truly accepted and respected as equals.